Noel Cosato. I'm doing anthropo social anthropology, and my major field in Syria and the Mediterranean world. And I, I, I apologize of the title. I put the wrong one. Actually, my title is Memories of Japanese War Dead in Malta. Yes, it's, it's exactly on the program, but my PPT is wrong. Sorry. I apologize for that. My paper deal, deals with the Japanese Naval Memorial, which is located in Kalkara Naval Cemetery, Malta, and analyzes why Japanese are motivated to pay a bit to such a site, which is a symbiotic relationship with the memory of the First World War. This memorial is dedicated to the 68 war dead who belonged to his Imperial Japanese Majesty's Second Detached Squadron and operated for Malta in 1917 and 1918 in order to play a role in protecting the Allied convoy in the Mediterranean. Malta is the, here in the mid of the Mediterranean Sea. And this is Kalkara Naval Cemetery. It's actually the Commonwealth Cemetery. Inside there, we can find one monument. It is for Japanese. The cooperation of the Imperial Japanese Navy with, the, with British Royal Navy and the Mediterranean was set in motion by the Anglo-Japanese Alliance of 1902, which promised mutual aid if any either country was attacked by the third party. By 1917, when Japanese entered the war as an England ally, German and Austrian sub uh, submarine operations in the Mediterranean sank the Allied vessels, which transported both soldiers and wartime supplies to the Western Front in order to gain a stronghold on British, which was dependent on the progress of her wheat. In the face of the Central Power's success of the submarine operations, the Japanese Navy, based in Malta, started to provide escort or convoy troops from Egypt to France. By the end of the war, they had escorted nearly 800 transport, which carried 700,000 Allied soldiers to the European front, despite the fact that they always faced the danger of being torpedoed by German u boat The destroyer Sakaki, which was one of the Japanese warship oper uh, warships operated in the Mediterranean and which had participated in a drastic rescue operations of 3,000 troops from the torpedoed Transylvania on 4th of May in 1917, was torpedoed by the Austrian-Hungarian submarine on 10th of June 1917 and lost 59 lives in total. The monument at Karkara was dedicated to those soldiers who died during the end after the operation. The articles which the pro-British newspaper, the Daily Mount Chronicle, ran on 19th of June in 1917 mentioned the Japanese rescue operations from the torpedoed uh, Pennsylvania and told that we regret that 55 Japanese lives lost in the interest of right versus might. And the officers and men of Sakaki must know their bravery will be echoed round and round the world and their effort is to be admired of millions of civilized peoples. All the British leaders, including Winston Churchill, also highly praised for the Japanese Mediterranean squadron. Both the West and Japan have forgotten what the Japanese Navy had done in the Mediterranean. There are three issues which are related to the amnesia. Firstly, even during the First World War, the Allies did not fully trust Japan, despite the fact 
the, despite the law, she prayed in the Mediterranean. In March 1918, the Lenin-led Bolshevik government signed a peace treaty with the Central Powers due to large number of Russian casualties and the exhaustion of the army. This made the Allies give more than the ordinary reference to the possibilities of German occupying Siberia. If Germany intended to arm her war prisoners in Siberia, it would invite Japanese intervention in Siberia. Although the Daily Mount Chronicle acknowledged, acknowledged Japan, had fully, uh, Japan had fulfilled her national obligations to the Allies, both British and American politicians were anxious about the Japanese intervention, which would drive, drive Russia into the orbit of diplomacy of the Central Powers. If Japanese intervention would be justified, Japan would be entitled to part of Siberia as a reward of her contribution to the Allies. These newspaper articles suggest it was not only British and Americans, but also Maltese, considered that the Japanese motives for joining the Allies' operations was doubtful. The second is, the amnes this amnesia occ occurred is due to the Japanese brutal aggression during the Second World War, which almost completely eclipsed the Japanese involvement in the earlier war. For example, Mother mentions the Japanese gains, which are the seizure of German occupied Tintao and German islands in the Pacific. But con con uh, commensurate with the effort which was to pursue the expansionist policy. Thirdly, the racial bigotry of the Western powers towards Japan accelerated the obliteration of the memory of the Anglo-Japanese joint operations in the Mediterranean. The Japanese side also contributed to this amnesia of Japanese Navy's operations in the Mediterranean. The first is that at the time of the First World War, the Japanese government tried to minimize its impact on society and deliberately concealed the fact that Japan was involved in the First World War and fought in Europe. The second is that after the Second World War, the basic premise of the Japanese foreign policy was to disengage from conflict for the sake of economic recovery. They relied on security guarantees from the United States and maintained a low profile in international politics. This foreign policy was laid by Yoshida Shigeru, the first prime minister after the Second World War, and it's called the Yoshida Doctrine. Thus, yeah. And thus, the memory of the First World War and those who served in the operations of the Mediterranean was concealed as the policy of Japan's commitment to global politics. Even today, many Japanese do not know much about Japanese operation, operations during the First World War, including those in the Mediterranean. Then, why do Japanese visit Karukara Cemetery? It is hardly possible to interview Japanese visitors at Karukara, as the number of visitors per day is really small. It's just around 20 in total. In order to understand the motives of the, their visit, I looked at the visitor's book. This is the visitor's book in Karukara Monastery, uh, the Karukara Cemetery, sorry. And, and the, on the visitor's book, some visitors wrote their names and made comment about their visit. I also interviewed Japanese residents in Malta, as well as those working for Malta Tourism Authority in Tokyo. When looking at the visitors' book, one can find many visitors other than Japanese come to graves of their deceased family members and fellow servicemen at Kalkara. For example, they leave following messages on the book. 
the great um sorry this is the japanese one so it's, it's still haven't reached that stage yet and other than japanese people they left the messages for example great thanks for the care of our sanskrit for the last 55 years brought f54 the whitmore wireless operator for real government uncle to margaret to see my brother Kenneth brought triple seven they are not suggest that they visit the place where their beloved died during the Second World War were buried. By contrast, many Japanese visitors are not direct descendant of the Scotland. Their children are now too old to pay a visit to the war cemetery in Morton. Also members of the Japanese Self Defense Force and Japanese Coast Guard officers visit Kakara. Ordinary Japanese also voluntarily pay a visit to the cemetery. Their message on the visitors' books are, Thank you, Maltese, for keeping the cemetery so well. I pray for the soul of the soldiers who died in the falling land far away from home. I came from, from Japan, rest in peace. To all who served for Japan, I appreciate your contribution to the nation, our ancestors, we enjoy peaceful environment of Japan. Please watch over us. One can understand that these messages are not addressed to a particular individual or the deceased, but, but to the Japanese squadron itself, operated from Mauta. Such characteristics of their messages will become clearer when comparing them with those left in Shidori Gafuji National Cemetery in Tokyo, which is a memorial for the un undate, unidentified war dead of the Second World War. So this is Shidori Gafuji National Cemetery in Tokyo. This is different from Yasukuni Shrine. Yes. And this is the inside of the Shidori Gafuji, and there's only one memorial stone over there. And I'm going to look at the visitor's book. They, the visitors also uh, left messages on visitor's book. So I examined this one. And yes, this is one of the examples. That my brother served in the Japanese Imperial Army as a submarine gunman and died on 31st of August in 1943. I wonder till then how he had survived in the peace battlefield such as that in Philippines. If he were with me now, he would be the most reliable person for me. We must never have under the war and kill each other. The person who left the North personifies the memory of the Second World War, which is never separated from that of the deceased person. The Chitorigaposi is a site for the memory of family members of the deceased whose bodies were not retrieved from the battlefield or not being identified, and they recollect those memories of the deceased. By contrast, the message of Calcutta do not evoke memories of a particular person. Japanese visitor addresses to those who rest in Calcutta and tell them that we, Japanese, promise that we remember you and what you have done for us. Also, you remain a martyr. They commemorate how the Japanese Navy committed not to the battles, but to the humanitarian operations in which they saved soldiers and passengers of torpedoed liners at the sea, despite the danger of being hit by German uh, German U-boat. Many Japanese visitors at Kalkala told, as Japanese, I must pay a visit to the memorial of the splendid rescue work performed by the Japanese and the casualties of such operations. Although many of such visitors are elderly Japanese, they are also young ones. They are influenced by Japanese TV programs and articles oriented to Japanese tourists which introduced Japanese naval, scout, naval, naval scouting as the guardian of the Mediterranean. 
and Calcutta Monument as a symbol of commemorating those who engaged in the humanitarian mission at the sacrifice of their lives. The Yoshida doctrine and pacifism after the Second World War eliminated the memory of Japan's involvement in the international conflict. To retrieve the memory of the Jap neighbor, Japanese neighbor's culture in the Mediterranean is an attempt for contemporary Japanese to ensure that their country played a respectable role in the international system. There used to be Japanese who looked beyond themselves and contributed to the welfare of people other than their nationals. Such memory provides visitors at Kalkara with a clue of how contemporary Japanese should act in international society with respect to other people's rights. Thus, the visitors appreciate what the neighbor culture did in the Mediterranean. It does not mean they tend to pursue militarism. As the message in the visitors' book suggests, many Japanese never want to have another war. They love the peaceful environment. Japanese faced Kalkara in order to seek a link between their country and the world and a proof of her ability to contribute to international society. Thank you. Okay.